Sacrificial interruption, the fight of fight now, the blue corner is 16, stands 5, 10. He fights out of Gorilla Fight Team and hails from Grimsby, Kyan Speedy Sonby. And his opponent fight now, the red corner is 14, stands 5, 5. He fights at a powerhouse and hails from Wakefield, Callum Walker. Your referee, Mr. Simon Stadnitsky. Callum Walker certainly had his game face on while he was staring across the cage at his opponent, Kyan Zombie. Kyan Zombie fighting out of the blue corner, representing Gorilla Grimsby in the black with red trim short venom shorts takes on the powerhouses callum walker and as i said he had a game face yeah walker kind of looking very focused indeed here oh nice combination from zombie though this amateur contest contested at the 64 kilogram rate and that left hand got through yeah, Sormi's finding a home for everything here, but that was a nice combination too from uh, his Whoa. opponent and a head kick, takes the head guard off. The young 14-year-old powerhouse lands the head kick that dislodges the headgear. Referee in on it. Here we go again. Sormi there, starting off with the, the high kick. Walker firing back with the two punch combination attacks his man up and again oh, oh both guys landing big shots and the headgear is off again gonna have to attach that they're gonna call time here while they uh while they get this reattached and, and you know again this is it, it's probably a discussion for another time but this, this is just one of the uh the other arguments against having uh, headgear on you know it slips, it moves around, it, it, it slows the uh, progress of the fight, and it, and it can obscure your vision as well. Especially for you know, a guy like Kyan Sombi, who's got longer hair too. It's, it's not ideal in all cases, but a discussion for another time. It, it, it's one of those arguments. For MMA, amateur MMA, I absolutely agree with you. The headgear has no place in it. In K1, however, I do believe it has a place, and it needs to perhaps a little more secured. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe maybe that's the, maybe that's the issue. Just get some some benefit in the head guards for these guys. Certainly for junior K1. Yeah, I yeah, absolutely. I, I wouldn't want to see the pros, but you know, in the Olympics, the boxers used to wear head get used to have to wear the headgear the whole time. Finally, they removed it from. They removed it for men, not for yeah, women. Not for, uh, <laughs> so you know, who, who knows? We're clearly just making it up as we go along absolutely. in combat sports, aren't we? I have no problem with protecting younger fighters. Yeah, absolutely, 100%. And if it and if it does mean we get a delay like this while a headgear is being readjusted or whatnot, that's just the price we pay. And it's well worth it. Bloody nose there yeah. from uh, from Kyle Sonby. Yeah, Callum Walker certainly hit, certainly has marked his man. And now we're just trading wildly. Yeah, technique what? went out the window for a second there. Both these guys just slinging, looking for the finish. We saw the referee almost in there to break up that clinch, but the fighters did it for themselves. The technique cheats and the headgear again. Coming up a little bit short there with Sonby. Solid left landed there. Oh, and another head kick. He's mixing it up well as Walker. He's not. He's not using. He's not a one-trick pony by any means. Yeah, and you know, you've got to think about the, the frustration on his part as well when he's landing these good shots. The headgear's coming off, and then he, you know, all of a sudden he's got a two-minute break. His opponent to gather his thoughts again. It must be, uh, you know, disrupting the flow state a little bit. Almost a Superman punch there, at a zombie. Ten seconds left to go. Zombies landed a couple of nice lead lefts towards the end of this round. Again, both right, guys just happy to trade in the phone booth. Absolutely, a competitive and entertaining first round from these two young men whose combined ages, Brad, 
don't even reach yours. Oh, man. <laughs> not not going to include myself in that. <laughs> I'm three times. Yeah, yeah. That's terrible commentating on fights between kids young enough to be your uh, young enough to be your child who'd kick your ass in the that's, in a that's fight, the right? That's the frightening <laughs> thing, isn't it? Yeah, you know, in the real job as a teacher, I look and go, well, the, these are two kids I teach that I could technically teach that could quite happily kick my ass all over the place. Ah, so you give them attention. Amen. I got to be honest, uh, I'm, I'm not sure I'd even dare. <laughs> All right, the seconds are cleared. We'll see if the headgear for Zombie can stay in place. Callum Walker was out, stood out of his corner, just staring down Kyan Zombie there. He hasn't changed his expression the whole fight. Not since walking out. He's had the same look in his eyes. He's, he looks focused, committed to what he has to do, and... In a combat sport, you'd appreciate that in a young athlete. Yeah, absolutely. Certainly got his eyes on the prize and taking this very seriously. But they are trading big shots yeah. again. And a little bit of head movement wouldn't go amiss there. Zombie has no problem throwing punches and bunches, that's for sure. You know, in this K1 style, you do tend to see guys more straight up, less bobbing and weaving. And again, the headgear giving Sombi issues there. Let's see if one of these guys can set something up to land that big power shot. Nice kick to the thigh there. The Callum Walker at the moment seems happy kind of working at the periphery and picking his shots, whereas you've got Sombi holding the center of the, the fighting area and pushing forward. But pushing forward into big leg kicks. Block oh, big right hand, snap the head back. Yeah, check that kick and then threw that big right hand. But Callum Walker just continued to walk him down. Getting our shin guard. Back on, there we go. Kept that referee busy in this one. Yeah, it's been a contest of wardrobe malfunctions, hasn't it? Straight away, Walker. Oh, nice head kick. Beautiful head kick there from Callum Walker. And a nice knee to the body. Goes back to that lead leg. Real patient approach here from Callum Walker in this round. And it really is paying off for him. Yeah, as you point out, he's not, he's, he's staying patient. He's not rushing anything. Kind of happy to work at almost in the counter here. Wait for his opponent to overextend and then Throwing a nice little bit of head movement there. Looked like Sornby was getting a little bit desperate there and just trying to throw that big right hand to try and get that knocked down. But with a patient fighter like Callum Walker, not always the best uh, the best form of, the, of, uh, of attack, especially when you've got another round to go. Every one of those shots that misses, you know, it's a mental drain as well as a physical drain. You don't want to start second guessing yourself, thinking, why can't I hit this guy? Frustration creeps in. Well, I've, I've liked how Walker has changed up the approach. In, in the first round, he was quite forward, quite in the second round. Used, used the perimeter of the cage, counter-struck really well. You know, one thing we saw from, from Kyan Sombi in that first round is that he was more than happy to stand and just swing and, and, and trade bombs with Callum Walker. And that's the position Walker doesn't want to put himself in. Because like you say, you know, he could well be two rounds up now but if he gets knocked down in this round, it's a 10-8, and then we're in a situation where there's a draw. So you don't want to make a silly mistake in the K-1 rules fight. A touch of gloves, and again, Callum Walker's facial expression has changed, not a jot, in the last 12 minutes. Again, he's a good lateral movement. Set up that low kick with his hands, knee to the body. Nice left hook on the break as well. Really is keeping Sombi guessing here. Yeah, he's starting to punish that lead leg. Again, landing flurries 
on the inside, but saw me ha happy to fire back shots of his own. And Walker's also, after he throws that low kick, if Sogby checks it, he, Walker uses it as an opportunity to throw an overhand or something straight down the middle as well. He's mixed up his strikes so well. Zombie's corner are calling for the body shots there, so perhaps they've seen an opening, but... Ooh, nice head kick there, just caught him with the toes across the teeth. Oh, Holden, they've got a little bit of gamemanship here now, holding his hands up. They exchange knees in the clinch. One technique, and then they're separated. Again, tenderizing that lead leg is Walker. I mean, eats that jab, but gets it on the clinch. Separated. And There's up. a nice series of right hands. And for me, that's what Solomon needs to be doing. I think it's too late in the game to worry about working the body now. He's got to try and knock his man down. Yeah. Nice. There's a nice combination. He's landing some clean shots in this third round, Steve. Absolute bit walk. Walker eats those shots like they're cereal and <laughs> unbelievable. Well, you Took one low there, and you know we, we've only got seconds left in the fight, so it's not going to have uh, a huge impact on the contest. But did that young man's facial expression even change then? Unbelievable. Good Little show of that. Uh, <laughs> yeah! Coming straight back for him. He's Kai and Zombie. And then Love we're going to gonna fight it. in the phone booth. Lovely. And a nice show of respect there from both these young athletes. Kai and Zombie, only 16 years old. And Callum Walker, 14. Yeah, that was, that was uh, a good, fair fight for my money. Those two kids were really well matched. And uh, look, you know. Callum Walker, the, the big difference in this one, Steve, is obviously the experience. Yeah. Debut for Sornby and, uh, you know, six matches already. I'm sure Sornby's maybe had some kind of other competitive experience, you know, be it kind of karate yeah. or taekwondo or, or something like that as well. Um, but the experience shows, and yeah. it was that ability, like you said, after the first round to uh, change tactics, start using the fighting area a little bit more, um, uh, and just really hold on to the momentum and, and ride that momentum throughout the fight. And that's what you get with experience. Uh, and kind of zombie will get that as well. Well, with no further ado, let's turn this over to Mr. Seth Khan to make this result official. Ladies and gentlemen, after three hard fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. All three judges score this in favor of your winner. In the red corner, Callum Walker. Please show your appreciation for Kyan Zombie.